Jason Bean, Thursday, August 3rd, 2017. Been working on a uh, fire all day long, basically. It's uh, down to some coals now. This pile of sticks to the left is a sweet gum branch that fell down in the backyard, and I tried burning it several times, and um, apparently sweet gum doesn't like to burn very well. I didn't know that. This thing's been dry for years. It's just been laying there, and I thought, well, that's probably ready to go, and I put it into the fire and uh, lit up a bunch of newspapers and trash with it, and there it did. Nothing. Just smoldered, and you can even see in the current cook fire that I've got going, and I'll be cooking on directly. I've got uh, uh, several um, splits of oak wood, uh, water oak, carcass wood, and um, that round piece that's uh, slick flickering a little bit. That's the sweet gum, and it's it's just not burning. I mean, it's being burnt by the oak, but it doesn't burn on its own. And uh, I suppose it's because of the gum in the sweet gum. It, uh, it suppresses flames, so if y'all happen to have a sweet gum around, uh, when the limbs fall down, put them around the fire that you're wanting to get going, so it'll suppress the flames from spreading in places you don't want them to go. It may smolder a bit, but it won't, it won't catch fire right away. At least it hasn't for me. And uh, I've got a little bit more oak to work with here. Like I say, I'm trying to get a cook fire going. And a cook fire is a campfire that you cook on. Um, let's see, I've got a couple of buckets of rainwater here that I have in case of the need of uh, fire suppression. My dog likes to drink out of them. And over here I have a... Um, couple of logs still in the wheelbarrow. I haven't split yet. This is a maul. I use this for splitting wood. It's got about an 8 10 pound head on it. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say. I think it's 8 pounds. Um, these are excellent tools for splitting wood. Uh, the wedge and sledge, that's it, works well. But a maul is more effective, especially when you're dealing with a straight grain wood like this piece here that I already have set on the ground. And um, I usually use a two-handed method, but that's a nice small straight piece. I'm going to try it with one hand because I have no way. I ha the only camera I have is on the phone. Let's see what happens here. I got a piece of it off there. I'll need to split it up a little bit more than that. Let me try another one. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's something I'm going to have to do without the camera pointing at it. Uh, I don't have a tripod or any other camera. so. But you get the idea. You get one of these things, and uh, you let the tool do the work. You don't, the, you don't work the tool. You let the tool do the work. This, this will split that log up in less than a minute once I uh, use both hands and a careful swing. And those other couple of logs over there. And this all be going on there to create a good bed of coals so I can um, roast up some steaks and some chicken. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe some vegetables to go with that. I got some peppers in there, and onion, and uh, oh, and I bought some um, really nice potatoes. So I'll probably put those on the roasting fire. Oh, let me show you this over here. Uh, that is a couple of old bed rails. And you can see that I've got a couple of old concrete blocks on either side of the um, fire pit. And I put those bed rails onto the concrete blocks across the fire pit. And I have this um, little roasting tray over here that was two bucks at the Dollar General. And uh, it works just fine. And I, I generally don't put things directly on it. I have another pan or, or a pot that I put that roasting tray on the fire, uh, on the bed rails, and then I put the pan or the pot on top of that. Because I, I, I like to cook outdoors. Hey. Huh. Hey, buddy. It's my foolish dog. He doesn't like to get too far from me. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Just a little bit of uh, entertainment. Hope that your afternoon is going well. Got some clothes on the line there. They're clean and nearly dry. And I just put them up there to air out. Later.